Can you work him? Oh, yeah. Let me draw my baby. Okay, so there's the dancing shoes and the, the soles. These are very expensive shoes. And the soles came off and exposing a number with my name on it. Right? And the length of the shoe, and it has three E's in it. 555. Five, five, five. And the length of the shoe is 11.5, which is delightly. <laughs> <laughs> and it had Marshall too, didn't it? 49. Had a Marshall, yeah. So we'll put that up on the internet. Got something for the crocodile? Where? <laughs> Crocodiles don't eat seeds. But eat the birds eat the seed. You know, I had, I told you I had that uh, meal up at Dan Dantries. Dang trees. Up north. Yeah. Dang tree Dang tree. That's it. And uh, I met ran into my old mate up there. Uh, Morgan Small Organ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, he says I'll buy you a meal. Goes, right, you're on. We've been up the up the river and met him when we come back to this place which in all the crocodiles and so forth. And uh, not a lot of swimming goes on. Right. You could if you fed the crocodile. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, but little swains making fun of me, eh? Now I might be able to get a word in. Having some dude on to Illuminati for three hours, that's even rubbish. So, uh, the Pope, sorry, Joe, the Pope asked me for a miracle. Can I please right. finish? Oh, you go ahead. Oh, I'm done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Pope, he wanted to see a miracle. He said to me, do you do a miracle, kid? No problem. What do you want? I said, you want a ghost appear to the, to, uh, Father, uh, Andrew. George, in the other room. I said, would oh. that do it? <laughs> right? I said, I'll heal you. Right? But then I said, I do have another miracle for you, and that is I was the first one of the three of us to wear the red boots. <laughs> and inside that, these these very expensive, I just silicon them back on, but I've got a, uh, a copy of the numbers, and it says my name. It's been vaccinated as well. Yeah. Oh, you, you got a picture of it? Yeah, oh, I scanned it and vaccinated it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I was saying to someone, I forget who it was now. Being vaticinated. Oh, to Donnie, live. I was saying uh, the marshal takes over, and I said, I'm both. Mm. Right? The, the other line not, might not have been too bright. Mm. So if the king does something stupid, mm. the marshal takes over as the chancellor. Mm. And that's what I am, a marshal. Like the marshals back in town, sort of thing. And the same to Donnie, I think. Well, was it Donnie I was talking to? The same. Yeah. No, no, I don't, no, no. What I said uh, yeah. concerning yeah, you were that, about it was. To, I got it out then. All right. Yeah, okay. Now I read something again. Yahoo snippet news before you go into about another Rothschild biting the dust. Oh really? Russia's cleaning out. The or something and somebody else would the dust. Well, it just said, I've seen one uh, video there at YouTube. It says, what's happening to the Rothschilds? And they had yeah, five or seven of them mm. with a cross across each one. Mm. It's gone. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, I meant to watch that. I forgot about it. Did you have a look at it at all? No, I didn't. But I, like, I, I took a mental note of it because I was doing something else that yeah. was uh, important. And that's really extending the um, invitation to the righteous to come to the wedding. And those beautiful creatures here. 
this marry for life and if one dies the other never mates again and they're very devoted parents so it's all love they, they are a love animal so the, um, the Jews used to get them and screw their heads off in the sacrifices demanded by their god Lucifer in the, in the Torah right. turtle doves the turtle dove, yeah. screw their heads off and then bleed their blood oh. onto the horns of the altar or something like that oh. like that's supposed to be coming from me right? like if that's the kind of god you got well you've already had it yeah. right? it's called Judaism what it's exactly what they've been doing so the doves are a perfect example of pure love and trust it. They'll, they'll trust us now. So I get up so close to us, say, get out of here, you mongrels. Start to annoy you. <laughs> I'm a very trusting creature. There was a girl at our high school who was terrified of them. <laughs> she was trying to tell us... Jews are terrified of doves. Poison spike. Oh, no. I, yeah, I employed this Jew who was ripping me off continually on commissions right. and there was this job that had to be done and quoted and in it, a big building, there were doves uh -huh. and he was absolutely terrified. Is it you? Hmm. So these doves started flooding about and he couldn't quote it. I had to go do it. Right. And they sat on me. They recognised oh. evil and good, right? So the parable of the doves sent out from the ark, the second one out, or the second time out, um, they instinctively know that the evil is in the raven. Therefore, they smell it. Mm -hmm. So by smell, it followed it to Sri Lanka. And that's the Sri Lankan story. That's the original story of mm -hmm. the, the flood, where all the animals there are so um, magnificent They've got crocodiles and leopards and lions and elephants and everything in the in the world that spread later to the rest of the world. So that's your Garden of Eden. Now you've got, um, I think there's 11 rivers there with an average length of 88.88 kilometres. <laughs> well, I did the numbers. Yeah, now how did we get that program? It suddenly... CG. CD. Was there. I had that for years, couldn't make yeah. it work. And suddenly it comes up, but not only that, uh, when it, uh, Magellan installs, it comes up with a series of numbers, never. So it never gives you the coordinates of anything. Mm. And it starts off in America because it's an American program. So this one was uh, uh, called light. But with it, you could, you could triangulate and get areas within triangles. So I then started to, uh, when I thought about it, install it, it opens, to my surprise, and uh, there's a pink lamp, low circle and a dot, like a bullseye, over Colombo in Sri Lanka. And when I was there, it was called Colombo. They changed it, right? Well, that's fine. Sounds nice. And um, there were several uh, waypoints. I'll give you the numbers. Uh, SP 100762S. Another one was SP uh, 5813SP. Another one was 3069 something. Another one was um, 3168. And another one was uh, the arc. So the one you measure to that arc, it gives you those numbers, it pinpoints where something very, very important is. Because yeah, there's a divine numbers, right? The foot pyramid one, too. Remember that was the only one that you hadn't figured out? Well, there is a little place just off the coast of Australia called Victoria. Vic something or other. I found it by accident just popped up and showed me where it was. Okay. So it's just off the coast of here somewhere. Oh. Hmm. So there's another chick, mate. Have we measured to Rome? Oh, yeah. Have we measured to Rome? Oh yeah, it's all oh, good. It's all good. It's all good. 
I've always known that Point at Point at Rome, that's what just given Horus to say, was determined not to go there. It was like, to me, another agony. Right? That's why I didn't want to go to Lithgow when I was a baby. I had to live it, so. So, uh, but it, I have to get Peter back in, and this is where Benedict comes in, and he's one of the seven of the uh, eight. The eight of the seven. The eight eight of the seven. So he's got to be Peter, reincarnate my brother. Mm -hmm. So I'm a Peter, my younger brother. So I was reading the Catholic Encyclopedia today all about... Um, Boy, they got a lot of knowledge. <laughs> anyway, um... Are they making too much noise with Pardon? their chewing? Pardon? Are they making too much noise with their chewing? No. This is getting interesting. All right, are you happy? No, they're quieting down a bit. Go ahead. Yes, anyway, <laughs> that, uh, um... Yes, Simon Barjona. Yeah. That they called Peter. There's nine son Peters in the Bible. Son of, son of nine like Simons, rather. Right? Say so there's, there's nine personalities of my brother. Mm. Now that makes it easy. You've got Simon Lazarus, younger brother, Jesus' younger brother. Right? He's the Adam figure that I had to trick into becoming a believer by giving him something that he always wanted a wife. Right. The prisoner hanging by my side. Now, you tell the story of that. If that ain't a miracle coming at you. So Lazarus was your brother? Yes. Simon. Simon Peter. Simon Peter is Simon Lazarus. He's Simon the Tanner. He's Simon the uh, Syriot. No, was it? The one that picked up the cross walking. Right. He's all assignments. They just punch in Simon and it all comes up. But then you look at the prophecy of that happening in the Old Testament under Simon. So it's all not straight from stuff. Logic. Um, if it ain't there, I didn't write it, put it that way. Right. Um, what are we talking about? Adam. Adam being Simon Lazarus. <laughs> so he plays all the parts. He can relate. To any of the Simons who would read in the New Testament, Adam would relate to it. And so would the Pope, through Adam. Discussion. Mm. Right. There's a happening for you. Get the Pope's down. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is Peter the Rock. <laughs> well, we better get there. So uh, your um, Canadian thing should be deposited. Uh, might even have gone in today. I ain't going nowhere unless they send the jet for me. Oh, right. That's right. Okay. Um, it's got to be first class. <laughs> Mind you, the way Francis goes back, it's all poverty did, all the way. <laughs> did my lips move just then? <laughs> I'm not going in a tog them off. <laughs> there are necessities. Been there, done that. There are some <laughs> this isn't showbiz, right? <laughs> this is all of your Poor glory. Poor is over, we tried that. <laughs> Didn't work. All, all of your glory. <laughs> but the red boots is what got a boat. <laughs> with my name on the soul yeah. twice add the numbers together see what you get mm. ends with what 4914 mm. which goes to 4911 which goes to 4912 which is from 4910 nice. and it is Jennifer. Shiloh coming Shiloh. and it's Marshall Shiloh. the name of the verses mm. are all Marshall there's four Marshalls so I said right you want to top that we go over to the phone number of my sister when I was working in Port Alberni 8484. Eight, four. Right, want to top that? Mm. We've got four lots where I lived. 84, 84, 84, 84, yeah. because the lot four remained the same. Mm. The next one was changed to three, and therefore the, it, the bit it broke off became a one. All right, the next one was a two and a two, and the next one was a three yeah. and a whatever. Five. One and a four. Yeah. Three. Now, we did that upload. Add them all up, you got 84, 84, 84, 84. Yeah. Now, we did that upload just recently right before the resignation of the Pope on the 11th of February, 84 years before. I want to tell the Pope about my high jump disaster. <gasps> wow! <laughs> this stopped me going to the Olympics, right? It did. It did. <laughs> so you're going to write, a, write, write, you're going to commit it to ink? <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I should, shouldn't I? Oh, yeah, Can you give him a brief synopsis of the story? No. <laughs> Can you? 
I can, I, I can tell you what happened. The shorts that your mother sewed up, but she didn't. Yeah. <laughs> she ended up being, becoming a little exposed, exposed. by the end of it, didn't you? <laughs> and it was a cold day. A cold day. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just made the cold day. And all day the girls I was in love with at the school, because they're all girls, I loved them all, right? right? <laughs> they're laughing their guts out. <laughs> I don't know what the nickname was on so at that point onwards, but it later become lips. <laughs> so what drew them to me? <laughs> Like my sister, God rest her soul, she set this up that there'd be all the girls come from all over. I'd say 8.88 .8 miles across the radius uh, for a kissing competition. And they'd stand me on a chair and I had to kiss them all. all right? This is me, a little kid. Now, I think there should be law against that. The sister shouldn't be on the She used to kiss me too, but she always had to win because if I didn't say she was the best kisser, she'd break my legs. <laughs> <laughs> she could. <laughs> Well, I used to wish to do them all, you're the best. <laughs> <coughs> so that happened, right? And there's hundreds of girls that remember that story. It's just hilarious. I got to see the one I liked the best, because she's just a nice girl. And, uh... Helen, I think her name was. I met her once later, years later, I was, I was married, she was married. And uh, she walked up to me and reminded me who she was. She, she said, I'm the one you said that was the best. So <laughs> <laughs> oh <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> under normal love circumstances, that would become a perfect woman, a perfect man and raised perfect children, but she was the same. I couldn't go there. Looked a lot like you, but a lot slimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that one with Donnie, that's all it needed because that's going to rally the Catholics like crazy. And they're going to be, a lot of them recorded, right? And that's going to just bounce up all over the internet as Christ is back and he's a Catholic. <laughs> and the Pope has a announcement that he is the saviour of the world on his webpage. Mm. And that's a check, mate, let's face it. Mm -hmm. Lovely check there, Tony. So I got up loud, that's a little story. So that high jumping competition mathematically turned into a disaster because I'd made one underestimation of stupidity. My mother, <laughs> who never tied off the cotton <laughs> when she said something, she was that stupid. Right. And I determined that my underpants and sweaty underpants at that, because I did all the other pipe competitions as well. Um, I thought, well, they're going to have some weight to them. <laughs> so I decided to take them off. Oh. <laughs> and I got one high jump shoe on, just a sprinting shoe, and uh, I think a grey sock. It was utterly ridiculous. And I. Um, broken the record by an inch. Mm -hmm. But the downside was my dick fell out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Which called eventually to my nickname of Tulips. <laughs> tulips. And I find you at uh, Tulip Close. Two, two, no, I find you. <laughs> <laughs> and I you. <laughs> I'm living at two tulip clubs, organised just before it was just like, when, oh, well, oh, the third house, <laughs> the third house, got to have somewhere to live, the third house. <laughs> what did I say to you about this one? That one. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You've had all your goes, you used up 
all this beautiful driving all over the state. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, Gimpy. Which right past <laughs> this one, angels, I say, that where, one. Where the angels switched. For the lake. Yeah, that's glorious. And how about the angels switching... switching my passport and driver's license? Yeah. Back at the... that was... That was and amazing. wonderfully you get caught. Well, I needed it for um, ID. I was hmm. looking at it at lunchtime. I had them. Are oh, they gone now? Pardon? They're gone now, are they? No, we've got them now. Hmm. We're talking about when they switched my passport, for your, my uh, passport and driver's license ended up back huh? in the. Um, What's that mean? What's that? He's having a, a phase out. He's been smoking dope. Oh. Oh, this is rubbing my forehead. It's all oh. sweaty. Yeah. Want me to turn the sun down a bit? No, it's nice. I need to sweat. Sweat some crap uh, out. We've got my um, sweaty thing too. You know the sauna. Mm. Mm. I don't want to go more. too extreme. No. <laughs> and that ended my high jump career. Uh, <laughs> what a way to go! They out. said I should have been jumping seven feet seven inches when they tested me. Right? Straight leap, straight up. Yeah. The record was uh, six feet ten. <gasps> so they said no, I should be clearing seven feet seven if we if I do the training they recommend. Right. So would have been well record, no problem. I was a strong ass right, I could lift vehicles. Mm. Yeah. Joan is a witness to that. Mm. Yeah. Ron was, but he wouldn't own up to it, so we killed him. So he's not staying, so didn't believe me. Mm. But he knew. Twenty second he's gone. So we get uh, now, uh, another son. Dex. Dex comes over. Now he's getting it. Oh, totally. His, his friends have become... Is it one friend or a lot? No, <laughs> there's a couple of them, yeah. They're really going nuts, though, are they? Oh, they're so dumb. Now, he, he approached that... so um, intelligent, you know, and you look on their page and they've been watching, you know, busting cult documentaries and, you know, people... That, think 9 is a conspiracy, a wacko, and all these sort of things they're watching, so... Well, what's the odds that Dex would get our work, take it up to him on a CD, or a DVD, hand it to him as he's walking out going to lunch, mm. he's the world's most uh, prolific speaker mm. on mm. the truth of the Bible, the Freemason Bible. Mm. Right? So here he is given this, and his reaction was entirely the opposite that you would expect from a scholar. Mm. A scholar would want to know. Mm. So I'll consider it and let you know. But he didn't. He rejected it out of hand. Why? Because he already knew. Mm. He knew Dex was coming. He's one of them. So. Yeah, well, I've Not with me, he's against me, right? That's right. I've fact. What's his name? Lennox. John Lennox. John Lennox. So that might be another one the uh, Jesuit would be looking very closely at. Mm. He's either tell the truth or he's dead. Right? Um, Did this happen? Did Dex go there and give you this document? That's all I want, a yes or a no. Your life depends on it. Mm. That's, a, that's a challenge right now to, to uh, Lenny. Death threat to Lenny. That's what we call it. <laughs> God threatens John Lennox with death. Unless he tells the truth. You decide, John. Very, very funny cartoon was made by Warner Brothers, and some of those things just cracked me up. Huh? And this is uh, a chicken, black chicken. He's, he's walking around, he's got a few hands, you know, he's happy. Right? And you hear this voice that says, Hello, John. <laughs> <laughs> and he stops, right? This voice coming at him. You think you're in heaven, don't you, John? <laughs> <laughs> and it talks him through a psychosis into finally cuts his own head off and ends up in the... in because the, Elmer Fudd was just sharpening his axe. Yeah. He wasn't going to cut his favourite chicken's head off. Right? No. <laughs> that's where he gets his axe from. <laughs> but it was brilliantly done. I think it was Mel Blake that did the voices. So the good stays, the bad goes. You know, it's that simple. Same with Walt Disney stuff. It's got some good stuff in it. Mm. Bambi horrified me. Mm. I was traumatised for years over there. You now the kids are watching... Yes. 
vampires and demons eating each other's heads or something. Listen. Right? I was terrified that his mother was going to get shot. Yeah. I lost my mother. Right? Yeah. <laughs> We're talking Mary there. Mm. So, um, prophecy is uh, fulfilled 100,000 million percent. Right, so now I'm saying, well, it's time the Jesuits to start taking these bastards out because I've had enough. Mm -hmm. The Pope's already said, I'm the saviour of the world, I might as well get on with it. I'm not waiting for pomp and, and, and uh, proving by an announcement from from uh, Francis. Mm. <laughs> He's probably John the Baptist. Mm. Well, isn't that John the Baptist's job description? The Wasn't he another one before that from the cross? Mm. He was Elijah. He was Elijah, yeah. yeah. John, John the Baptist, he was Elijah. Mm. Reincarnation proven right then and there, otherwise Jesus is full of shit. Mm. So that turns the whole thing upside down, doesn't it? <laughs> Calling to you from Australia. <laughs> from the land down under. <laughs> this is the equator. <laughs> and this is where the condemned are. All right, so uh, Donnie reads. Do you think Donnie's not a plan? Like, no one's that stupid. Uh, he's a psychology major. Hello. <laughs> he thinks I don't Did know you it. Say no. <laughs> Did you I just say get him no? to say it, right? Even though they think he's a lunatic, he's done the right job. He's at the opportunity now where two or three Catholics will gather in my name and discuss this. <laughs> Always covers his covers covers his gates. Mm. I'm not saying I believe. Mm. What's that about lukewarm? Do you have my name? Oh, he's he's too big a spew. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, he's doing his job. Yeah. It doesn't matter what he does. It's all no. all divine. All love. Got a bit of publicity out of it. Mm. The next thing he's going to get uninvaded. And they'll be all going to the Pope's page where he's going, they're going to get uninvaded with filth. Mm. Mm. And I warned Father Giuseppe, so he's vigilant. He's Maybe they should keep him. Let them do what they do to the Pope. So there is an unforgivable sin. The one who does it is dead meat because you've offended the Holy Spirit. And, and the ones that will get even has got nothing to do with me. The Jesuits. Mm. You've offended the Pope, the man who was a vigor of crime. Mm. So it leads to a ripping yarn in any direction you go. So it's just a matter of stimulating the, the uh, memory. Because it's so blatantly obvious. And it must have been there, you know. <laughs> well, it ain't easy to dream up in the first place. Right? So what you've got to do is you get finished and you work backward. That's what I did with Sarah Ebel. Have you got your little moles onto it? <laughs> yeah, there's some pretty raunchy stuff you put into that look. Sure. But you see, you buy, you're offended, you've got to read it. The more offensive it is, the more it's a drag. You know, you put it down, I can't read this film. <gasps> I can't read it! <laughs> <laughs> That's the average Catholic. I've seen that when my Auntie Mina's place. There was this uh, Mavis Brampton, terribly, terribly out of out of the ordinary mm. film. Right? And they all watched it and condemned it and talked about it in church. <laughs> <laughs> Even the Pope was watching it. <laughs> <laughs> so we get uh, John the Baptist and we've got uh, Peter. But that fits the story. It's mm. not a matter of talking about it. Like, can you relate to them? Once they are told they are them, they, re they re can remember it because they relate to it. Mm. So Peter the Rock, on this rock I will build my church, and now Peter is um, making this wonderful 
wonderful work of art that he's writing in Italian. So we've got to learn Italian. Now. That's where you can understand it because he's thinking Italian. Or Latin. And that's the basis of English. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I, I haven't need to bother to do the numbers on the Catholic Bible. So what was what was interesting was reading in the was it in the uh, yeah it must have been in the reference to Rome as the eternal city mm. in the Catholic writings. Well, how many what times the word city found in the King James Bible? It identifies who it is. Seven, seven, seven. That's right. So it's on seven, seven hills. hills. Yeah. It's on seven continents. Mm. Oh, it's on seven realms. It's all got the same root origin comes back to there because that's where I've chosen it to be. Mm. Oh. Now we've got the Fibonacci coming up with the silver bees that's coming from uh, Canada with a man that spent five years picking up all the vibes of mm. the Great Pyramid oh, yeah. and finds this little mound where bees are coming out and they're silver and how do you describe them? Like bullets? Chrome. 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 He said they look like chrome and they, they make rings with the bees in it. Chrome bees. Really? Rings, yeah. Well, that's the photograph he said. Really good pair of them. Gotta go there. But the location of it is in the centre of the Fibonacci spiral, mm. which is what I saw my aunt do yeah. uh, when she died. Yeah. All right. I'd love to know what date that was. For some reason or other, I didn't get it. For now. Not the reason for it. Dot Sealy. Not Dot. Call me a Dot, right? Sealy, Sealy. Which I did. But that was brought to me by the angelic realm. So I just observed it and wrote about it. Right? Mm. Have we sent that to the Pope yet? Yeah, I'll have to go through and see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have mm. to read through it all again. Should be out to find, should it? Just put I it in there. Sealy, S-W-L-E-Y. Dot. I mean, the, 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 well, we've done a Sealy search before to no avail. So I haven't done it then. Oh, you mean in the documents that you've done? Yeah. Oh, well, let's, I think we'll just go back through. You, have, you didn't say that you had. Yeah, I, I I'm sure I have. have. You have? I sh I'm sure I have, but it might be in the other's computers, you think. Mm. But anyhow, I can do it again. It's not a real hassle. The story's quite, quite sweet and quick. Hmm. So you want me to tell it? Well, that's when you... Aunt, Aunt Dot, she was a lovely lady. She used to take these vexed uh, powders all the time. Mm. She had a problem with the, with the stomach. Because of the vexed? No, I think it was actually um, an ulcer. And the vexed would aggravate oh, it. Oh, absolutely. Terrible. Yeah. And yeah, she ended up getting peritonitis, and she mm. dies in hospital, and her, in her dying thought she thinks of me, mm. and the angels bring her to me, mm. and I see her, I sense she's behind me, and I turn and looked up. Yeah. And there she was, I can see the back of her as they're bringing her towards me in an invisible bed, but she was in the dead yeah. position. Yeah. And then she started to look around, sat up, she was quite bewildered. Mm. She looked around and she saw me to the left. So she turned and she mm. put her hands out towards me and said my name and I couldn't hear her. Mm. And then she just looked at me and I'm stunned, right? Mm. And then she rolls back, places her hand back and I remember the plaited hair at the back, blonde hair. Mm. And then she started to move towards the west, then up an angle, which went past the toilet stink pipe. Mm. Uh, and then she went in a spiral oh. like that, big spiral. It got faster and faster and faster, a little tiny dot like it fired a BB gun. Oh. She was gone. Well, that's because of there being a sudden hemisphere, the spiral goes away. Yeah. Now, what, um, how old do you think you were then? Oh, it couldn't be much more than eight. Mm. So this was... Probably 8.88. Eight. So it was after Mary appeared to you? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And after I climbed over the next door. So when, when she called your name, did, was it Brian? Or oh, no, I didn't hear it. Uh, I can yes, only see but, a mouth move. Because you see it was a oh, yeah, absolutely. mouthed Brian. Well, she loved me. She, she was yes. calling out to me. Yeah. Yeah, I just wondered, you know, if she... So what's a dying wish? She wants to see me. Hmm. And that's what the angels did. He gave her a dying wish. Yeah. 
So um, I was well, like probably 8.88 because everything else fits perfectly right. So mm. I don't think I was 9.42. Well, I think I might have been a six five seven. No, it couldn't have been that. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, what we'll do is find out when Dot Sealy died. Measure, measure. I have done the search on her before. No, blocked it, have they? Well, I, I didn't come up with anything that was. Yeah, no, they would have blocked it, I think. Mm. Then there's Wally Sealy, the, the husband. He was a man who could drive a ball, golf ball from here across the island and bounce it off, hit the house, right? He's never seen a man drive a ball so far in real life. Mm. Looks so easy, whack. Mm. We're talking well over 350 yards every hit. Right? Usually you've got to wait back the other way to, because you're going past the green. It's unbelievable. Mm. Right? So I used to caddy for him when I was a kid. You know? Used to sneak on the back nine at this lake. Never paid. And finish at 17, right? Mm. So that's where I saw the Coriolis effect because they wouldn't listen. I could have made them all champions by taking, but I was too clever for them. I couldn't, I couldn't follow what I'm talking about. Mm. To me, it's so bloody obvious. Like every five-year-old knows that sort of thing. But they don't. Mm. That's the whole point. But he was definitely a mental case, my old father. So what happens in a, a royal family when they're all nutters, the marshal takes over, and that's what the job of the marshal is. So luckily I'm a... Uh, you both. Both. <laughs> and also the king line through the Habsburgs, mm. which Hitler rightly kicked out of Germany. Mm. Right? But the, the good ones that left before that become Harrisons, getting away from the name, right? Mm. Going lightly again. And they end up marrying each other. <laughs> And one of the wisest things, or, or most memorable things, my grandfather ever said, was that going through the Suez Canal, and he's seen all these Arabs standing there, he said, Israelites, like <laughs> Israelites, he's the king of them, right? <laughs> Israelites, they can all the Arabs. <laughs> Showing their butter. <laughs> it's a strange joke, you go for walks up and down the hall, like you drive you nuts, right? <laughs> But he did supply the uh, the right chromosomes at the right time, see. So all these wonderful stories then uh, were telling to uh, my little brother. Now I'm making him not only that, I'm making him Lazarus as well. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so all the Solomons you relate to, right? So you say, look in Francis's chosen name. Well, what's that, France? Like, go on from there, right? Yes, they they said he he was uh, Chris or whatever Bergatoli or whatever his name was, Italian name. But uh, his parents, his father started to call him Francis as a nickname at a very young age. And that's where he got the name from. Yeah. Um, Which his father admired Francis. Well, no, it was more. Well, the speculation was. Uh, um, oh no, this is this is uh, Francis uh, Francis of Assisi. He he was born with another name, but his father called him Francis. All right, okay. Um, he was a merchant, and the speculation was, you know, he liked France, so he, he called him, nickname Francis. So. What a story, though. My goodness gracious me. Absolutely. Well, you know, they, we've got now Peter, who can now can relate to all the Simon Peters in the King James Bible. I'll give him a copy of it. I'll tell him where to look. Or to do it for him, right? So this is it. You're all those. It's because you're a Peter. Right? Yet the last prophecy by Malachi is that Petrus the rock to the Romans. Yeah, and what's he going to do? He's going to make the place into a paradise and then turn on you. That's what the prophecy is. He'll turn it into paradise. Mm. This evil bastard. <laughs> this child molester. Mm. He plays with other people's bottoms too. Mm. Right, so uh, he's in his darkest hour. He's in prison, isn't he? Mm. 
Mm. So all of a sudden there's a 966 coming at you, the lightning. So then they have the International Youth Year, which goes right back to where I said it was starting. Rio. Rio. Yeah, in July. And I met an angel yeah. from Rio who was married to a Zambian. Hello. Now, you... You met that angel, it was July when you flew up. Right. You flew, I'm sure it was July when you came back. And that's when you met her. That's a conversation. Right. Well, I had, a, I had a beat in about three seconds. When I, said, I, got, I just grabbed my hand and turned it over. I said, you're an angel. Mm. Yes. What you do? <laughs> So I said, alright, where are you from? Let's get the story. So she goes, and she's from Rio. You know? She tells me what they do to the kids down there. I said, is it true? She said, yes, it is. I said, what's the Catholic Church doing about it? She said, nothing. I said, well, they got to go. So, there was ever in charge of Rio. He's letting that happen in today, as I speak. Mm. What are we going to do with him? Well, we get to send the Jesuits down. Could give him a chance. Start doing it right, he had dead meat. And I've a Jesuit watching him from across the road with a sniper's bullet in that. Mm. So is that way of doing it? That way you give him a chance. Forgive them, Father. Some idiot said that, I remember. Right? They know exactly what they're doing. Mm. So as they know, they, uh, the Jesuit is allowed to kill anybody he likes. As soon as this hound steps out of line, because he is the Archbishop there now, if he steps out of line, put a bullet in him. That's a Jesuit order. So you give him an out, right? But they've got to come good. The same with Netanyahu and Obama. Either they either bound, bite, bound... No, fuck them, they're gone. Couldn't say it. There's no forgiveness for them. What they've allowed has happened in America, it's unbelievable. What about everywhere else? That's right, it's unforgivable. So what worse punishment could they have than being totally extinct? Mm. The soul is gone. Fear him. He's 10, 48, isn't he? Matthew? 10, 28. Oh, what time is it? Remember that one? Yes, it was 10, 28 right. when that 10, happened, 28. right? What happened? A duck hit the window or something? <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> well, where's our turtle dove? I remember when we were back at the Bradman house, out the back, I was talking to the boys, Lou, I think his name was, the other kid. Mm. And while I'm raving on in my usual fashion, what impressed Adam, do you remember? The two magpies. The two magpies. Sitting down, listening to him, listening to everything he was saying. And that reminded me of reading about Francis of Assisi. The animals did the same thing. They stopped, they listened, they came to him. He was all about the creation and looking after the animal, and he was filled with joy. Then he had smackos in his pocket. That's it. <laughs> Dogs go crazy for smackos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, he he uh, he had well, this, he had this <laughs> conversion. He he lived the, the the life of a wealthy young merchant until he was 25, and then uh, he had this conversion where he went 180 into poverty, chose about poverty, and and um, yeah. So he treated his body so badly by denying it not only food, but you know. Flagell what is it, the flagellating or yeah, whatever, self -flagellation. With a self flagellation that he only lasted 20 years once he had the conversion because his body was just worn out. He was 45 when he died. Spent 20 years. He over flagellated. Oh. Uh, I do a lot of flagellating myself sometimes. You know. but they said <laughs> Especially you, old dear, you cause it. His, 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 uh, <laughs> his personality and his preaching were so simple and so the people just flocked to him. He ended up having 5,000. Franciscan friars wanting to enter after his very simple preaching and he only preached the gospel, that was it, nothing else. Is that and right? 
Pardon? Is that right? Yes. Well, what do they put in the, the Vatican yes, III? Yes, exactly right. I only preach the gospel. That's right. So everything I read about reminds me of you, except the starvation. I mean, you don't eat much anyway, but this was over the top. But he was identifying with, he would dress as a beggar, he, he would put on their clothing and be down with the beggars and the lepers and everybody to, he became one of them. Empathy. Mm, mm. That's right. But he was joyful and he never spoke anything ill about anybody. He made sure he didn't, he brought joy. And so what did, what did Francis say, that Christ is the head of the church? Yes, he reminded all the cardinals that uh, they are, but a, they they may be princes, but it's all temporal, and Christ is the head of the church. Mm. Was he just had the meeting with? Uh, no, this was actually the day before. Well, there you go. So he would have no trouble accepting no. what. Do you think he was? He's actually wasn't told before he got there. Well, he might have heard the rumours. I don't. I, I'm not speculating. However, what is interesting is the next day when he had the mass. With the knowledge, he was filled with such joy, he was just encouraging the people to have hope in, in their dire economic circumstances, to don't give up, there's hope, there's hope. And he was running around touching and hugging mm. children and, and, you know, you've got to humble yourself and become like a small child and, and be young at heart and laugh and joy. It's like, <laughs> hello, this is a man who's um, been living that way himself based on his model of Francis Assisi, because Francis of Assisi was like that. And so now he's got the news that the Christ is back, but he's, he's sworn to secrecy. He's not, you know, they, they obviously have a game plan, and he can't say anything, but he can now light a fire of change and renewal. That he talked about the new spring within the, and the re renewal within the church. And I'll be there, I'll be there in July at the Youth Day, because mm. it's all about the children. I'll be there. Because he's thinking, well, you know, <laughs> who else is going to be there? Wow, what an entree. <laughs> mm -hmm. What an entree, millions, boo. Mil they said millions of youth from around the world go to these weeks, wherever they are. Wow. That's a target audience. It mm -hmm. is a targeted audience, isn't it? It beats a Metallica rock concert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I see. It, be, it does beat him. Oh, I went to rock. Kiss. Pardon? I went to see Kiss. You went to see Kiss? <laughs> oh. you got no idea the noise. Oh. How people put up with it, I tell you. Because it goes right through Darlinghurst, where I was born. Yeah. You get in the hospital, you can hear it. Yeah. What a 600,000 watts of bloody power. Oh. It's all Jews, of course. Mm. Dressing like demons. Kids love it. Yeah, they know how to make an appeal in that way. Mm. So we wipe them off the face of the earth? Yes. And they're gone. You know, I, I find it astonishing that um, I was thinking about Donnie's reaction when you said that you know there'll be no pornography, no, no this, no that, mm. no the rest of it. And it was like Wow, what, hold on there, like how are we going to, mm. it, it, yeah, it, it, it's pretty telling isn't it, I mean mm -hmm. you, you'd you think when, okay this is a man who's saying that he's God and this is not happening in the kingdom of God, that you'd be like right on, absolutely, mm. like yeah. not, not, I not, understand why you would say that, yeah, not, not go well you know we've kind of been programmed yeah. well, that hold way, hold on how there, we can't we still just have it? No. <laughs> Everybody's give up, got to give up their demons, right? Yeah, that's, mm. that's basically what no one wants to face. Yeah. That's why they're all going ape, ape, ape shit. Oh yeah. Mm. Especially the the porn, pornography addicts and homosexual people. Mm. They don't want to. They can't let go of it. So I've decided to forgive Wren and Lisa. They know not what they do. Someone said that, some idiot. They are insane. They're full of 
corner for him. I didn't believe God. Yeah, and it's turning absolutely nuts. Yes, uh, what was Ren screaming on that? Uh, did you oh. get the papers I sent you three weeks ago? No, nah, that was that other idiot that sleeps with his new best friend. Oh. He craps on about how we're Nazis and all this stuff all the time. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are Nazis. Totally. Hitler won the war. Mm. By divine inspiration, he wrote it down in a Mayan camp. Mm. What the Jews were all about. So they demonised the book because Jews can't read it. Mm. Well, they won't read the New Testament either. Mm. So they just demonised him. I couldn't care less after he wrote the book, he went off and he started eating babies' heads. The point is, he wrote what he wrote. Mm. And I do not believe the second part of that scenario. That's why you look at the Belson Horror Camps and all these places, there's people there as thin as those, those rails on the side of the fence here. Mm. How'd they get that thin? It took them four years, that's why. Mm. He didn't kill them. Mm. Huh? Mm. And it's getting typhus, so they had to put gas into the clothing, well, which was delivered by the Pope, by the way. Pope John Paul II. Yeah, that was, um, what did they call that gas? Dylon or something? Or Dylon B. Dylon B, B or something? To kill the life. Mm. Yeah. So they do tests on the walls of the same buildings and they say if they were gassing people in there, they did the math out of me, I'd have to do. Mm. And uh, how the doors weren't sealed, anyone who was outside who put the gas in would also be dead. Yeah. It's that patent. Mm. That's what I try to kill them with. Mm. Well, I was, I was looking up that stuff a few weeks ago. There was something I read saying that a lot of the footage and imagery is actually German people starving, you know, mm. stacked up on carts and stuff and because the Jews run the printing presses and encyclopedias and oh, stuff. Of course, well, if they're starving in the... In the, in the Jew, Jews in death camps. If they're, if they're starving in the country, they're starving in the prison camps. Mm. Now... The same thing happened in North America where they locked up everybody who was a German Japanese. or a Jap Japanese. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even if you're born there in the country. Yeah. Australia did the same thing here. Mm. Down in, what was it, Berrima? Remember where they were there? Mm. Mm -hmm. So I uh, asked God as a child, why doesn't the Pope just not say, don't go to war. Mm. So you've got the Germans who are Catholic and you've got the... I didn't know that was a Protestant by that time. I just thought everyone was Catholic. Mm. So I thought it, I made it into heaven when I first got there. Right? It seemed like a Catholic. Trial, it, uh, oh, good. They might be proper trials, but they're very rare. Yeah. Oh, wow. yesterday there was bloody chemtrails mm. everywhere. Mm. So I forgot what I was talking about now. It's brilliant. Pope, not blessing. Oh, yeah, why? I asked why the Pope just simply didn't bless the Catholics going to war. So that's all the army, half and half, right? Are they British or not? Mm. They're all Catholic, so don't go to war. Mm. Why do you do that? Well, we'll find out the Pope was, don't we? We'll find out why. So, what was his interest in not doing that? It's the first thing I would do if I was a Pope. But right, you're Catholic, you're not going to warn him. Okay. Same in Iraq and same in, same in Syria and all those places. Come out. Mm. Don't take your words no more. Major Dunwitty, I think, should have Dunwitty. Could have a woman in charge. Mm. Men can't do it, that's why. Mm. Yeah, it needs that motherly aspect. Well, my, my age, it was the 17th of June, we were working out my age. Yeah. Five, six, six, five, I think. Something like that. Five, six, eight, five, I think. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, in um, July. We were doing in July. Anyway, it looks like uh, 
My mouth is the sword. Your mouth's in the sewer. My mouth <laughs> is the sword. Oh, the sword. Mm. Well, same thing, isn't it? <laughs> You're waking the sewer up. <laughs> What's this little bloke well, that's called? That's a funny reading Lisa Marie's comments, though. She was saying how irritated she is by your voice. Really great to... And Michelle. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I mean, she used to love it when she was chorus. Very telling. Yeah. So you just man manipulate nutcases along the way and you've got a perfect spokesman for you. Because mm. who would believe this idiot? Right? Look at, the, look at the numbers she's given us. Oh, what bloody pages and pages and pages of... Well, she's got to be working for him, surely. I'll tip to that direction if you go work from that. Become my greatest critic. And I'll push you over the edge. Right? So I, I give her that opportunity. And she took it. On the computer, we've got. Right? Be, she has to be there for a reason, good or bad, right? As long as she's talking about me, I don't care what to say. So this idiot doesn't think I'm God? Well, <laughs> only one a couple that do. Called popes. <laughs> right? That's all I'm after. So what you do is you add both ages together, divide it by two, and see what the difference is between my age and the average age. Be interesting, right? Eh? You like to do that? The two posts age. Yeah. Uh, well, they're 76 and 80. Yeah. Well, on the same date, uh, when the pope retires, mm. how old he was and how old Frank. future pope was going to be, yeah. which will prove it was preordained. There's something like that. That's where I'd go next. Right? Okay. Now the shoe is dribbling. Not the saliva. The shoe is dribbling. Yeah. That's one of them Magigoria things, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a shoe having had a stigmata. Now, you've got to be careful about stigmata. They haven't got it right yet. No. None of them. No. So therefore, it don't come from God. They're stabbing themselves. Well, reading, Look at adoration, about, reading about Francis of Assisi is well documented as the miracle because others saw it occur. But, I mean, the demonic can do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not Yeah, well, like that's a uh, game, isn't it? Magic tricks and smoking rooms. Or an angel. Yeah. Is it a good result or not? I'll put it down to a miracle. Uh, well, angel then. But it was completely in the wrong place and, and he stabbed his... Stabbed his uh, wrong the side. wound was on the wrong side, so... So he saw the shroud of Turin and he didn't really realise the hands had the nails through the wrist. Or well, he didn't understand Greek, but the nail is the hand. Mm -hmm. the no and idea. that it's the reverse, it's the inside, the outside. But doesn't doesn't but account for this shoe dribbling? Is it dribbling from the right place, though? Yeah, it's lips. <laughs> Where? There, yeah, put your finger up. Yeah. Around there, yeah. Mm. Now go up the towards the heel, and it's not shiny. So it's dribbling. <laughs> it's a dribbling shoe of Jesus. I uh, have the shoe dribbles in the afternoon. The other one's dribbling too. Did you look at the other one? Oh, this side. <laughs> See? See it dribbling? How about the front? There. Funny, you can get people to do almost anything, you know, okay. if you just put the right words together. Mm. <laughs> the miracle is not doing dribbling boot. The miracle is you did it three times. <laughs> <laughs> miracle right before your eyes. <laughs> That's not a good shot. So, Ragpile's got something to say down there. Okay, shall we? Let's look at the logic here. What's he saying? Oh, I can read. I can really read, really. 
was my my mother used to say, "Oh, really?" About William Holden. <laughs> you pull a funny face. So, so we're going to the lines down to get the girls back, right? Mm. Now I've got to get Mary back. It's got to be logically in the worst possible situation. Mm. Yes. Or I'll lose everything again, but I get my children back. My mother's back. Daphne's back. Mm. Mary, Jessie Maria is back. And the funny thing is, I can feel it. Because you have a certain nature all your life, which is the feminine side, which is my mother. And uh, she taught me to, to, from a woman's point of view. That's why Luke is all female oriented. No, it's the Gospels, right? That's all you do, read the Gospels. Beautiful. So you do things, how many times the word Jesus is found in the Gospel? How many times the word Lord is found? I haven't done it then. No. I think you can set it up to do that, but I'm not sure. Mm. If it isn't, then you should be able to change it, so get some expert to work on it. So you just search the gospel down. And you never open the other one, whatever that's called, I forget. Can't even touch them. So the kids just see that, read to them in Latin, and they will learn to speak Latin. It's, it's the answers in the Latin. So we've got Francis of Assisi doing the same thing. And, uh, now what's interesting is that Francis of Assisi, um, he was not... Um, he was not I thought you said Francis was a sissy. Yeah. <laughs> Francis of Assisi. There's two of them, were they brothers, yeah, were they? No, that's it. Francis had his sissy brother. Yeah, well they, had, they were twins, <laughs> both of them. Um, he was not big on... They were half-brothers actually. He was not big on studying at all. He, he thought that uh, like book reading and studying was a waste of time. Focus on preaching the Gospels and working, working the body, keeping busy, active and out there doing, being amongst the people and bringing, bringing joy to their lives while starving himself, self-flagellating. Look, a bit of stomach gas down a bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Only the surrounding victim. <laughs> My sister actually holds a world record for that. I was chasing up the street one day trying to kill her. And I couldn't quite catch her. I was running exactly the same speed. And each step she took, she parted. <laughs> so all the way from wherever it was, halfway up from Mile Street to the Gardener's Road, mm -hmm. she's parting as she ran. <laughs> I'm copping the right. <laughs> Some very, very funny things like that. No stories to tell you. What I got up to, the ingenuity to get even. <laughs> got, that's like the fourth plane in 15 minutes or so. Is it? Very busy up there, so. Maybe they're all leaving. <laughs> so, are we ready to go, are we? There goes the sun, the sun. Good morning. Good morning, you naughty people. <laughs> so don't worry, the angels will get around to us, you're Protestant, they'll cut your throat. Right. They're called um, um, Jesuits. <laughs>